Earlier in the month, he was paying tribute to Osama bin Laden as a martyr who terrified America in life and in death. Now bin Laden's longtime deputy, Ayman al-Zawakri, has taken over the leadership of al-Qaeda. The announcement was posted on a website known to be affiliated with the militant network. The statement announcing his succession was filled with al-Qaeda's usual rhetoric, vowing to continue the fight against what it called conquering infidels led by America and its stooge Israel. <laughs> Al-Zawakri over the years has brought ideological fire, organizational skills, and tactics to al-Qaeda. A surgeon by training, he was believed to be first behind the use of suicide bombings in independent cells that have become the network's trademarks. Al-Zawakri turned 60 on Sunday. He first met bin Laden in the late 80s in the caves of Afghanistan. Decades later, the U.S. was dropping leaflets there looking for help and hunting for the pair of them. The Egyptians believed to be living in the Afghan-Pakistan border region again now. U.S. intelligence officials have said some al-Qaeda members have found al-Zawakri to be a controlling micromanager who lacks bin Laden's appeal among militants. But at least one analyst predicts in directing al-Qaeda, al-Zawahri will intensify the focus on attacking the West in a big way. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.